a workshop. And apologies for the way I'm going to bring you on in, but as you can already see, the presenting presence is the first part here at Max Fire Outpost, and we did everything to prepare for when we let in. But, other than that, welcome to the workshop. I know it doesn't look like much. It looks like a bunch of junk around. Well, it is, but you know, some of it's new. And to us, this is everything. But where are my manners? This is Adam. This is Eddie. I'm Dave, and together we humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. And as Gatherers, we travel far and wide throughout the galaxy, visiting abandoned outposts, war-ridden planets, destroyed starships, and even forgotten ancient temples. And within those journeys, we find these mysterious relics, ancient artifacts, and precious cargo. And we bring it all back here to the workshop for you. You see, we must preserve our past in order to ensure our future. And as I already said, we are in troubled times. And there's been a call sent out. And there's been a legend in the past who's answered that call. You might have heard of his stories. Luke Skywalker? Yes? Yes, yes. And now, there's a new hero in our midst. Does anyone know her name? Ray. Yes, Ray. And she's our spark of hope, spreading throughout the galaxy. And that's why you're all here. To answer the call that Katie did. Well, you're also here to build this. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is both elegant and enigmatic. Beautiful and mysterious. And they say to build a lightsaber is an ancient art. It has been wielded by our greatest of heroes and their strongest enemies. It is a direct connection to the Force. And builders, today, you will feel that connection. But to begin this journey, we're going to start with this. The Kyber Crystal. The Kyber Crystal is the heart of your lightsaber. It will magnify and harness the force into a blade. And the color of the crystal will depict the color of that blade. Now there are many crystals out there in the galaxy, but today, my fellow gatherers and I have gathered four for you to choose from. And we'll start with this one. The blue Kyber Crystal has once been wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his general princess, Anakin Skywalker, and now, red. Green. Has been held by Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and of course, legendary Luke Skywalker. And violet. It is the rarest and the most beautiful of the type of person searched throughout the galaxy, just like the one wielded by Master Mace Windu. And red. The crystal of power. And this has been held by the likes of Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Asajj Ventress, and now Kylo Ren. But enough about those legends and their stories. As I said, we're here for your stories and your future. So at this moment, builders, little builders, please go. Please go ahead and close your eyes. And now, clear your minds. For it is time to choose your kind of crystal. Some say the crystal will choose you. And now, builders, open your eyes and select the heart of your lightsaber. Yeah. 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 Hold it. So the larger side will always go in the first and towards your activation plates. 
so that way you can fasten it to your activation screw. Okay, which one? Oh, put it both hold on. So the larger and wider side of oh, the screw fastened, it. It gets you fastened fastened to your activation hold hold Excellent. Hold Excellent. Which one do you want on the top and bottom? You want that bottom or top? Bottom, okay. Put it on the bottom this way. Put it in and then screw it in. Just keep screwing it until it gets tight. Can I do it? Pick another one? Which other one do you like the best? That one? Okay, put the, let me see. Yep, just like that. Put it on and screw it on. Beautiful. <laughs> Moving on to the Good next job. one. In section yep. three, you have two emitters. In section three. So you're going to choose one of the two. Take a look that at it. That goes at the you very want. top. You want. This is where your blade is. That one? Okay. Put it on top. This is the top. You like that one? Good job, bud. Good job, dude. Hold on. All right, builders. This is the most dangerous part of our journey. But I've seen some remarkable work in front of us. But I'm going to have to ask you to please take a giant step back as my fellow gatherers will be walking around and facing your hills and the crystal stabilization chamber in front of you. Now we are not force sensitive, we are just humble gatherers, but luckily we have technology to do this. And it must be done by a well-trained and practiced hand, as it takes years and years to do this. But luckily for you, we just reach this.